We all do it sometimes. Senator Brockman. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. My question is to the Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Senator Scullion. How is the Community Development Program supporting Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australians in remote communities into work, and why is it important that all Australians have an opportunity to get a job? The Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Senator Scullion. Uh, Mr. President, uh, look, I thank Senator Brockman for that question. I acknowledge that both he and probably everyone in this room will acknowledge that uh, supporting all Australians into an opportunity for a job is probably one of the most important things we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, the Community Development Program is a government's remote uh, employment service that works with all job seekers in remote Australia to provide training, engagement, work experience uh, and the sort of support that they need to transition uh, into work. So the Community Development Program is working to deliver jobs that uh, remote Australia needed. So since the introduction of the Community Development Program, remote job seekers have been supported into more than 27,607 jobs. Um, most importantly, more than 9,300 of those jobs have been lasted for six months. Now, why is that important? Because the data around uh, six months, if you're there for six months, 82 per cent of you will be in a job two years later. So that's a really important. That's long-term employment. So that's the evidence. So, um, it is our this is absolutely our priority, because if you've got a community where adults are engaged in training, whether it's work experience or increasingly in work, it's a much healthier place in that community rather than one that's plagued by the misery of passive welfare. So that's what I see when I, uh, uh, when I visit remote communities. That's what leaders like Gallery Unipingu, Noel Pearson, Roy R.C., Sammy Bush Banasi and, Su uh, and Susan Murphy have called for. Uh, but I agree, and I've been talking to many of you in this place, that there is much more to do. We need to generate more jobs, and I'm very proud of the success of the Indigenous businesses in winning contracts under our Indigenous procurement policy. We're supporting states and territories not only to introduce their own procurement policies, but make sure there's local Indigenous employment targets as part of that. Um, this is part of our record infrastructure uh, rollout. We, also need to, we have also announced the introduction of 6,000 subsidised job packages in remote Australia. This is going to boost Order, opportunity Scullion, for every time job seeker. Expired. Senator Brockman, a supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. Minister, how is the Liberal National Government working in partnership with local communities to support remote job seekers? Senator Scullion. The Community Development Program works uh, because it works in partnership uh, with local Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander organisations. It will respond to local community priority that meets the needs and aspirations of local job seekers. It will take advantage of the opportunities and circumstances of local job markets because it's delivered by local organisations and allows for local decision making. So when I became minister, I inherited what I think most would agree around this place, a failed remote jobs and community program. So that was, that was introduced. Uh, uh, by effectively non-Indigenous employment companies, head offices in Brisbane, in Sydney or sometimes even overseas. So we, didn't, we don't agree with that approach. I suspect no one in this place does. We believe in local uh, organisations running that. We em believe in empowered communities and that's what the CDP will deliver. Organisations like Razak in the Lands are now delivering this program for the benefit of their own communities. Order. Senator Brockman, a final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr President. Minister, what other measures is this government delivering to support Australians in ro remote communities into work? Senator Scullion. Again, thanks for that question, Senator Brockman. Well, our Indigenous business policies not only help create small business opportunities, but we're also getting more in Indigenous job seekers off the misery of welfare into the dignity of work. Of the thousand new Indigenous businesses winning over a billion dollars worth of contracts in the IPP, they've got an Indigenous workforce, unsurprisingly, of over 50 per cent. Given Indigenous Australians are 3 per cent of the population, they expect the average workforce to be around that, but they are at 50 per cent, meaning the more we back Indigenous small business, the more Indigenous job seekers we're getting into work and are actually contributing to their own lives and their own economy. So as we support all Australian small businesses with a more competitive tax rate so they can keep more of their own money, that applies equally to Indigenous businesses, we get more small business activity and even more job seekers into work. Mr President, uh, that's what we believe on this side uh, of, uh, of, of this chamber. More runs on Order. the board, more businesses. Senator Scullion, 